Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I like smoky eyes. I don't do them too often, but it's almost New Year's, so why not? I thought, why not do a smoky eye tutorial? And this is the look I came up with. I really like how it turned out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I got this look and let's get started. First, I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I always recommend using a primer or, you know, some kind of base, even a foundation or concealer, to just make sure things stay in place, and it just helps with smoothing out your eyeshadows as well. And for today's look, I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and another palette. So first, I'm using the shade Orange Soda from the Soft Glam Palette to set the eye. Then I'm digging into the shade Rustic. I'm going to apply this over the upper part of my eye. This is going to be my transition. Since it's going to be a dark eye anyway, I don't mind this brown shade being a transition color. It's a warm toned brown, not too dark, and it blends so nicely. So I'm just going to blend this out over the eye, and for a smoky eye, let me tell you, blending is so important and so key. It's going to take you time, but it is going to make the difference in whether your look looks good or not. So make sure you blend properly and take your time with it. Okay, now that that shadow looks fully blended out on the eye, I am moving on to the shade Noir, which is the matte black shadow in the Soft Glam palette. I'm going to put this onto the crease. Now with dark shadows, there's no turning back. So I always say go lightly first and then add and pack on as you see fit. So I put on a light amount here and I'm just going to start to blend it out horizontally first so that I have a line and I'm using small circular motions to then blend it a little bit upwards and a little bit outwards and I'm just going to go back and forth across this line till it's blended outwards properly again blending is key for a smoky eye so take your time get things blended once you blend out this color it's a lot less black a lot less dark and it becomes more of a gray if you do want a very black smoky eye I would say add on a little more of that shadow but if you want a nice transition then I would say gray is perfect and then you can have black on your lid this is a very wearable beginner smoky eye so we're not gonna go too dark with it so I don't mind having it this light So this is after a few minutes of blending and it looks so much more diffused, a lot less intense. It looks really nice. Okay, I'm adding a little bit to make kind of a V between my crease and my eyelid. And I'm just gonna blend that out too so I can have a nice smoky effect that connects that crease line back to my lash line and keep blending till it's all smoothed out. Okay, now that that looks good, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay palette to use the color Jet. This is a black shade with sparkles. If you want to go for a matte smoky eye, you can, but I wanna do something sparkly because New Year's, you know? So I'm just patting that on with my finger and be careful, it's a dark color. If you're not comfortable with your finger, use a brush. I would say since it's a sparkle though, just wet your brush so you get that pigment. All right, time to add in some liner. I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. And again, since I'm going for a more wearable look, I'm not gonna do a crazy wing. I'm just gonna do uh, something between a wing and a cat eye. All right, I like how it looks. So I'm gonna go in and do the same steps to the other eye. Okay, now that the wings are done, I'm just going to add a little dimension by using the color Drift, which is a gunmetal gray. I'm gonna add this to the inner part of the eye and the inner corner. You can make it go all the way up to halfway across your eyelid. You can use any kind of sparkly color on the inner part of your eye if you want some dimension to your look. But for me, I wanna go with the little gray to keep it on the natural side. All right. Okay guys, I just finished my brows and I'm gonna go in with some primer. So here we go.
Next, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y365. And I'm just going to dot it across my face and then blend it together. This is a nice medium to full coverage foundation and it looks like your skin. So it's perfect for a glam look like this. Next, I'm going with the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in the shade Cool Medium Peach. This is a nice natural finish concealer. Since we're doing a smoky eye, you have you can go with natural coverage or full coverage. It's up to you. But for today, natural. Okay, and now that the concealer is done, we're gonna finish up the under eye. So I'm gonna zoom you back in here. Okay, for the under eye, I'm going to add the Anastasia Noir shade back to under my eye, and I'm just going to do it very lightly, as close to the lash line as I can, and I'm going to connect it back to that wing, and it's going to make the look come together really nicely. I'm just going to blend it out and drag that shadow both directions, closer to the inner corner of my eye, but not all the way there because it's going to look really dark, and then back outwards around the wing. Again, take your time with blending, make sure things look even and nice. And same thing with the other eye here. You could take this in a few different directions. If you want a more intense smoky eye, I would say line the waterline with a black eyeliner. If you want a more smudgy look, you, you can place an eyeliner along the lash line and then smudge it out. Not too far out. You know, you don't want to go past your eyeshadow here, but you want to just do it close to the lash line and smudge it out with a brush. That could be a really nice way to do it. I want to go for a more natural type of smoky eye, so I'm actually just going to leave it with the eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer first. I don't feel like wearing falsies today. Next, I'm going to just do a classic mascara combination. I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to separate and define my eyelashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Essence Princess Lash False Lash Effect Mascara to make my lashes look big. Okay guys, so I just did my mascara. Now, if you want to make this look super complete, go for falsies. Highly recommend it. But I'm not particularly going anywhere today, and if I do change my mind, then I don't want to look crazy. So I did just a lot of mascara, thick mascara, and in real life, it looks still pretty extreme, okay? <laughs> so don't feel bad for wearing this mascara. Alright, moving on to contour. Since it is an intense eye look, I don't want to do anything crazy, so I'm not going to cream contour. I'm going to do powder contour using the Tarte Clay Play Palette. And I'm dipping into the shade Timber. Why does this side look so much more extreme? And I'm just going to add a little bit under my chin. As I always say, we always use the extra help here. Okay, for blush, I'll be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. This is a more natural shade that's going to complement the smoky eye. That's a little more blush than I thought I needed. Well. Okay. I'm finishing off with highlight. Let's see. I'm going to use the shade Talk in Code. Since we've got a smoky eye, why not go for a white highlight? Well, why not let everyone see you in the room? <laughs> Gotta love a blinding highlighting. Everyone at the party is gonna stare at you. So, now that that's done, I just wanna add a teensy bit right up here on the bridge of my nose. It's like having that little shine and then small amount down here and at the point. It'll just look nice. Okay. Now 
now that you look crazy, we're just going to finish off with a lipstick. Since the eye look is so dark, I am going to go in with a nude lip. I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cork. And I'm going to finish off the look with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay guys, this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. I think it's very pretty, still very wearable, not too extreme. And you could wear this to like events and stuff as well, not just to your New Year's party. But yeah, I really like it. Let me know what you thought of the look, what you thought of the video. Let me know if the tutorial was helpful for you and if you want to see more tutorials. And yeah, if you liked the video, drop me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back and see you guys next time.